Hi YouTube, this is Curvy Creole Leo, also known as Ashley, coming to you with a video update of my weight loss journey. I hope everybody's been good. Hello to my new subscribers and welcome. And hello to my old subscribers and I hope y'all have been well. Uh, let's see. First things first. Uh, tomorrow will make seven weeks since my gastric bypass room wide surgery. Uh, I had my six week post op visit last week, last Wednesday, and everything is still on the positive side. I'm still losing. My surgeon's still proud of me. Uh, she has made me realize that I've lost 24 pounds in a month, which I, which I really didn't realize. Like I noticed the number going down, but I didn't just count it up. Lazy, I guess. Anyway, um, just still dealing with everything I got going on in my personal life, but just trying to take it in stride and do what I have to do and just focus more on me. Uh, so I've been trying to get back into the gym. I missed all of last week. Like I still, I still don't really know what was hurting me on the inside. But um, I believe it's like in the area where like the other anastomosis is, like somewhere over here. It was just a achy pain. So I wasn't sure if it was like, you know, stable or constipation or, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, uh, you know, all my incisions have healed up. Um, I've been cleared to eat more lean protein and fruits and vegetables. Um, I can swallow whole pills and tablets. I'm almost back to normal, almost. I can lift weights, as you see. I'm gonna try to do that when I get done with this video and some floor exercises. I'm also gonna try to show my my, my body. Uh, since I hadn't done like a body shot live on video since, ooh, God knows when. Um, and I'll show my incision scars. So, but yeah, everything has been on the positive side. I did hit a small stall, or maybe not hit, I may have nudged it, uh, for like, four or five days, because I've been so used to seeing like one pound a day, one pound a day, one pound a day going out on a scale. But uh, I was at 289 for about four or five days. <clears throat> and I know why I was at 289, because I was starting back to sip on like Sprite Zero and stuff and like literally sip no big Route 44 cup of uh, Sprite Zero, no 20 ounce, no 12 ounce can, just literally just sipping like four or five times out of a small cup from Sonic, and then I just pass the drink off to whoever wants it. Um, I'm getting better with getting my fluids in. I still need help. Uh, I, help. I need more motivation getting my vitamins in because I let the whole day pass by and not think about my vitamins, so I gotta get better with that. Um, let's see, non-scale victories. I have a neck, you can see, uh, and it's getting lighter than what it was compared to old videos. <clears throat> um, I have a lap. Like I can set my phone on my lap and it doesn't go anywhere now. Um, let's see, still no CPAP machine, still no metformin. Um, like I used to find myself sitting down and be, I, I would hear myself breathing hard. I don't do that anymore. Like breathing is a ton easier. Oh, I thought somebody was coming in. But anyway, um, yeah, just dealing with this the best I can. Now, somebody asked me if I regretted the surgery or that I regret this whole process because it's like you're giving up so much. No, because to be honest, even if I didn't do this surgery, a lifestyle change was gonna have to come in order for me to try to hit any type of goal that I wanted. So, it's just a tool. It's not an easy way out. When I, I went into that surgery, I was fat. I was fat on the operating table. When I came out of that surgery and got in my, my hospital room, I was still fat. Like, <laughs> I didn't go in there and just suck no fat out. I was still fat. Um, it's like everything else is up to you. You still have to work, and it pisses me off when I have people saying, oh, that's the easy way out. You had, you took the easy way out, and da, da, da. And I had to tell a, a trainer at my new gym about 
her idea of you know that being an easy way because she was talking about she was trying to get this guy to work out with her but he just wants to have the surgery and she's like down in him because that's the easy way out and all this stuff and i'm told like some people need it like it ain't like i woke up and just said oh i'm gonna go get surgery for those who have been watching you know that was not my first choice um i mean plus if he's 500 pounds, he may not be able to move as much. Well, he, he was like 480 to 500. I can't remember exactly, but he was like up there. He can't move as much, so he may need something to help him get started. So he can move around better. Um, I mean, weight loss surgery isn't for everybody, but it is for some people. You just have to look at their journey. And I mean, if, if that person had been trying forever like I have, and to no avail, just nothing happened. You get discouraged. You end up gaining five pounds. <clears throat> you need something that's going to be a little more helpful and a little more permanent with your journey. So, yeah, I had to kind of break her down about that. Because when I told her about my surgery, she just kind of, like, turned her nose up at me. And I, I, you don't do that to me because I get pissed off easy. Uh, but anyway, but back to the question. I don't regret it at all. I mean, you get a little sad when you realize you can't eat to your heart to your heart's content anymore. But at the same time, my heart's content to be fine. I'm not starving. Like I eat, I eat my few little bites of stuff, and I'm full. I don't have to do anything else. I'm completely okay. Um, it's a mind thing. If you can get past the point of just knowing I can't eat five pounds of crawfish anymore or I can't eat a five dollar fill up box from who got it now? Churches, Popeye, somebody got the five dollar fill up box. Um you can get past a lot of stuff if you just think of the greater good of everything. If I don't eat this, then I feel better later. And that's honestly what it is. And I'm still learning what I can and can't eat. My biggest issue right now is if I eat one bite too many. Um, I don't know if all you other bariatric people out there, you get that foamy, and I'm sorry, it's nasty. Uh, you get that kind of foamy feeling in the back of your throat, and when you, you have to go throw up, and it's literally just either spit or whatever the last thing you ate, and when you throw that up, you feel a world of a difference. So that's been my only issue, but I'm getting better with it since I'm still just figuring out what I can eat. Um, other than that, it hasn't been anything else going on. Um, like I said, I'm down to 280. Well, I'm 287 now. I weighed in this morning at 287. So my heaviest weight was 366. <clears throat> my weight at my two week, well, yeah, my two week pre uh, liquid diet day. I don't know how I just said that. But the day I started my liquid diet, I was 350. Um, Day of surgery, I was 326, and now I'm 287. So the number's still going down. I'm still seeing a little bit of difference, but I know that'll come with time for me to see the difference. Um, let's see. If y'all have any questions, give me some questions in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be able to answer everything that's going on because still, I don't consider this a major surgery because it's like, I guess because everything went so smooth with me. Um, I didn't have any complications or anything, but it's other people out there that still may have questions about the whole process and if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, who to go to. And of course, if you ask me who to go to, I'm going to tell you Colleen Kennedy because she, she's the best. <laughs> but, um, yep, that's pretty much it today. It's not a, it's really not a ton that's going on right now. I'm still waiting on some interviews and stuff like that. I'm still on my natural hair journey. As you can see, it's kind of just brushed back right now, but you know, that's pretty much it. And I'm going to do a quick video as I get done with these weights in the floor and just show my incisions and show my body shape for right now. And that's pretty much it. So, 
And I've also set up an email, like if you would like to email me questions or anything like that, it's curvycreoleo86 at gmail.com. So same as my username, um, as always, in closing my video. Um, we're all in this fight together. Even if you aren't in this fight, you may know somebody that is, and just let them know that everything can work out, everything can be okay, as long as you have faith, as long as you have patience, as long as you're willing to put in the work. And I can't thank y'all enough for the support and the kind of words and the prayers that y'all sent me, because y'all know for a while, I wasn't thinking that I was gonna get the surgery done because of finances and other little stuff. But lo and behold, somebody sent me, um, to Dr. Kennedy and everything got taken care of. And like, honestly, y'all just don't know how much y'all inspire me to push more. And just telling me that I may inspire you or I motivate you. Like, I've never been told that type of stuff before I started this journey. So y'all don't know how that makes me feel and it makes me want to try to do more. Cause the way I look at it, it's another fat girl out there um, like me, that probably have PCOS and over 300 pounds and short and stuff like that. And she may be like looking for somebody to follow to see how their journey went. And I didn't necessarily find that when I was looking like everybody's taller than me and a lot of folks wasn't over 300 pounds. So I'm putting my journey out there so somebody will know that everything can work out. Plain and simple, it can work out. It's gonna be obstacles along the way, but hell, that's life. Um, but we all need each other, whether we know it or not. And once again, thank you for your kind words, your awesome support, your motivation, everything that you have all said to me throughout this journey. And I'm gonna keep going. I gotta keep going for myself. I gotta keep going for the eventual family I wanna start. I just have to keep going and I have to keep my story going. I gotta give y'all something to watch. <laughs> but uh, I'm finna do these weights and it's floor exercise and I do my short little video afterwards. So nothing else. I'll see y'all later. Be blessed. All right, y'all, uh, I'm done. Just showing y'all my body before, well, after since surgery. So, as you see, legs are smaller, but trying to get some gains. My stomach is not sitting way out like it was. These couple of rows right here kind of make it obvious that I still have a belly. Anyway, to the scars. Okay, um, that's one right there, one right there. Uh, one right there. I'm trying to see where all of them at. This one right there that's like completely healed. This one right there. And I'm missing one. Oh, I'm about to move the camera around. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, minimal scars. She did an awesome job. So, still, let me pull this up. I still don't feel comfortable. <laughs> uh,. But yeah, minimum scarring. I don't know if you guys can see that big of a difference. I know it's there, I just don't see it for myself yet. But uh, yeah, there's one side and the other side. So I will see y'all later, bye.